everyone to join us with just commentary so we're gonna jump right into the camcorder i only have 20 minutes and this is a 70 minutes video let's go ahead right, sorry i had to jump into the video because the camcorder have only 20 minutes the video is 17 minutes i need to just jump into it of course so anyway thank you so very much don't forget to subscribe to join us with just commentary like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to write the video leave a comment below let's go okay the cold war simplified part two by the way for putting down socialism in Latin America, a certain Fidel Castro met with a certain Che oh. Guevara in a bar in Mexico City. Oh, Kilo Fidel Castro is in the Caribbean, by the way. I'm in the Caribbean, we're in Dominica. The Caribbean just down there. <laughs> and America didn't like seeing a communist regime being set up in its own backyard. So the wow. US immediately began training up Cuban exiles to invade Cuba and overthrow Castro. However, as the day of the operation came closer, Kennedy wanted to conceal any US involvement in the plan. So he massively scaled back American air support, and as a result, the Bay of Pigs invasion was a humiliating defeat for America. But Castro Ooh. felt there was still an impending US threat to his regime. Meanwhile, in the Soviet Union, Khrushchev had a lot of medium-range nuclear missiles that couldn't reach America, but they could if they were positioned, say, on an oh, no way. island off the This reminds me of something that's going on right now with Venezuela and the US. America. Holy you know cow. That means? We should fall in love. Uh, oh, shoot. Missiles up in Cuba. Oh, no, no, you're right. That's a better idea. Oh, yo, 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 yo. This almost... On October 14, <laughs> 1962, a U-2 spy plane over Cuba noticed something strange. Sir, you need to look at this photograph. You're right. That's the cutest dog I've ever seen. So, <laughs> Not this. more to the Soviet missiles. America wow. freaked out as they realized what was going on. They were completely Whoa. vulnerable, and they had to act fast. <sighs> they knew that airstrikes or an invasion of Cuba would likely mean nuclear war with the Soviet Union. So Kennedy came up with another idea. A blockade. The U.S. Navy wow. announced it would stop and search any Soviet This is right in the Cuba Caribbean. That's where I'm from. Lower down. In response, See this chain of islands? Lower down where I am. Dominica. Commonwealth of Dominica. The same and began drawing up plans for an attack on Cuba. Things were escalating fast and both sure. powers were getting ready for World War Three. Emergency oh, communications gosh. between the two sides Yo, broke down as this feels Kennedy's like demands for the missiles to be removed. For the first time in history, US Strategic Air Command moved to DEFCON 2. DEFCON this is something like what's almost the Soviet shot down a U2 in the air with Cuba. the US and Venezuela and Russia and China. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Two of the senior officers I hope this is not what, you know what I mean, this Thankfully, should not be. The senior officer, this beautiful man, refused to authorize the <laughs> Analyzed its preparations, and I kid you not, the day before the U.S. were set to decide the day and time for the Cuban invasion, Khrushchev was like, "Hey, you know, if you just removed your missiles from Turkey, we'd remove ours from Cuba." Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, let's do that. Let's save the world from all this nonsensical destruction. Finally, came to an agreement. Soviet missiles were shipped out of Cuba, and the world breathed one gigantic sigh of relief, except for one guy who was bloody livid. Phew. Let's hope that's wow. the biggest crisis of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Unfortunately for him, his presidency was to end with one. Having nearly wow. blown up the planet, a few changes were made. Nearly First, blown up the, the superpowers planet. agreed to a limited test ban treaty. Secondly, the Soviets ousted Khrushchev and replaced him with Leonid Brezhnev, who Ooh. was a kisser. He liked to kiss. <laughs> Both sides were deeply concerned at the prospect oh of gosh. nuclear war. But still, the arms race raged on throughout the 60s <laughs> and 70s. U.S. intelligence worked out that the Soviets' nuclear arsenal was not as powerful as they previously thought. But in fact, huh. it was America that held the advantage. ABMs and MIRVs were developed and the doctrine of mad. If both sides knew they'd be completely wow. destroyed by a nuclear war, neither why do they want us to have this so battle so much war, in the world? The world Just behave yourself. I don't know what's all weapons. fighting about. In 1966, above the pleasant town of Palomares in Spain, a U.S. bomber collided with a tanker mid-air, and four Ooh. hydrogen bombs fell and landed near the town below. It hasn't exploded, so I'm sure everything's fine. What? Whoa, boy. Uh, hey, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Okay. What were you going to do today? Go you see us? Yeah. I wouldn't I do that either. Are Holy you cow. Right now? Yeah. Duh. Yeah. I wouldn't. It took the Americans what? two and a half months to find one of the bombs which had gone missing in the ocean. This was the 14th time America had lost a nuclear bomb since 1950. But why are they being so why are they doing that? The Soviet Union lost. So sleep well tonight. After Kennedy's uh, assassination, I Vice try. President Lyndon B. Johnson took over and he inherited a developing crisis in the East. Vietnam. Back oh in the 50s, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The colonizers out oh. once and for all, and the country was divided into two. In the north, a communist regime, and in the south, an anti communist regime. Oh both gosh. were led by very sweet looking old men, but don't let that <laughs> Sweet looking old men, I would. <laughs> and both dreamed of reuniting Vietnam. Wait, I idea what this sweet looking old man is. The 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 also known as the Viet Cong, to carry Ooh. out a campaign of guerrilla warfare in the south with Soviet support. The US sent advisors to help train the South Vietnamese to deal with the threat, but President Diem. The US is always. 
was there, yo. More South Vietnamese to support the Viet Cong, and over the next decade, the situation escalated to a breaking point. America feared the domino effect. That is, if South Vietnam fell to communism, would Cambodia be next? Then huh. Laos, Thailand, Burma, India. Wow. LBJ had to make a choice between losing South Vietnam. Thailand was close to this, by the way. So in they went. From 1965, America found itself in a war unlike anything it had ever fought. Before. Have you noticed that? Let's play. Spot the the U.S. Soldier. always going into these countries and not the countries coming into the U.S. Him? for wars. Of course not. I That's don't know. If, I'm just an observation. American Nothing. I'm not saying anything. Don't want to have me in no tie. I'm just saying, just an observation that it's always the fact that the U.S. always the goes into another country, and there's hardly the 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 civilian population got caught up. There's hardly the fact that other countries invade the U.S. Attack, and America launched a bombing campaign in the north. Oh, wow! The Viet Cong used the Ho Chi Minh Trail running through Laos and Cambodia to supply the campaign. It was a long and brutal war, and I could never do it justice in this video. But in terms of the wow. Cold War, Vietnam was probably the biggest of many, many global conflicts. Hmm. Look at the small Vietnam is down there. Under the threat of this is, oh my gosh. the two superpowers began working to make their relationship more constructive. And as a result, <laughs> their ideological battle shifted away from the potential of direct conflict and more towards attempting to influence smaller proxy wars around uh -huh. the world. In the Middle East, the Soviet Union provided aid against Israel during the Sixth Day wow. War, and then again when the U.S. backed Israel during the Yom Kippur War. What? In Africa, the Angolan Civil War saw U.S.-supported South Africans fighting Soviet-supported Cubans. In the conflict Shh. between Somalia and Ethiopia, the superpowers interested oh, the superpowers. Side, regimes changed. And the U.S. continued fighting the spread the of communism in its own backyard, funding the famous Contra groups to fight the socialist junta in Nicaragua. These proxy wars were fierce enough to... I wouldn't be surprised if Venezuela soon come up in a video like this. Destruction ...and created alarming levels of human wow. suffering throughout the Third World. That's what I don't Vietnam, get. That human suffering was all being broadcast back home by a good old television. Going into the late 60s, it's America was a changing nation. the poor that suffering this from this nonsensical this wars. This became this. And this became this. The new slogan that was taking root, make love, not <laughs> That's The good. majority of Americans did not approve of Johnson's handling of so the Vietnam so War. So and in 1968, a silent majority elected law and order candidate Richard Nixon. Ooh. As the Vietnam War appeared to be increasingly unwinnable and public opinion turning increasingly sour, Nixon made wow. the decision to begin bringing the troops home and yes, ended stop US it. involvement in Vietnam by 1973. Stop Two it. years later, the South fell. The Cold War was now taking its toll on both superpowers. In Russia, hmm. a huge percentage of the budget oh was still boy. going to the military. People were still oh hungry boy, and they just didn't have access to the same lifestyle and goods as the West. And what did they have to show for it? They weren't even winning the space race anymore. Both sides needed to reduce spending in order to rescue their economy. And so both welcomed with open arms an easing of hostilities, otherwise known as Detente. You knew. To improve oh relations, gosh. Nixon became the first U.S. president to visit Moscow in 1972, Ooh. and Brezhnev returned the gesture a year later. That's good. A number of treaties were signed, including the 1970 Why the assault agreement. Why the fist is still Relations with China were even improving via wow. ping pong diplomacy. Ping pong the diplomacy. The tennis team went on a tour of the People's Republic. However, internally, China was still pushing anti-capitalist propaganda, which led to some mixed messages. Oh, oh my gosh! What? China in 1972, and it was a barrel of laughs. Today, the president walks among priceless treasures from China's golden age. Wow. Among them, a pair of ear stoppers used by the emperor to keep from hearing... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Makes sense. Is it Nixon? I think that's Nixon. I, uh, my brain just said Nixon. Everything was going Nixon, great for is, Nixon is. until it was uncovered <laughs> that back home he was being a very naughty boy Ooh. violating constitutional protocol. I'm announcing today my resignation as president and I'm passing the office to my vice president, Gerald oh Ford. Oh boy. Wow. You mean in America the people can actually remove their leader when he breaks ah. up? Why not just rule by force? I'm... Where's the correct? <laughs> and my first act as president <laughs> is to pardon Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> After the whole fiasco, Americans decided what they really wanted was oh a nice gosh. guy who wouldn't cheat on them. So they elected Jimmy Carter, and the two sides met in Vienna where they signed yet another strategic wow. arms limitation treaty. It's an honor, Premier Brezhnev. Likewise, President Carter. <laughs> Where the keys is that? <laughs> but that's not to say there was no longer any tension between the two Hi. sides, because there was. 
Heaps of it. Once again, the Soviet Union put down further attempts at reform and rebellion in the Eastern Bloc. The Euro Missile Crisis saw this new is so depressing in a way. But the things that is happening in this new era, this new age, 2019, I have a strong feeling this is wow. And it's right in my backyard, yo. Right in my backyard. Venezuela is down there. No. Conservatives were concerned that you of gosh, gosh, darn. So. And in 1980, they decided they wanted a president who would be tough on communism. So they elected. Oh gosh. Reagan came in oh. blazing. Concerned at the Soviet Union's human rights violations, he made a speech calling them an evil empire. And he also wanted to renew the arms race. Oh, 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 computing okay, he came up with the Space Defense Initiative, also known as Star Wars, which was basically a big defensive anti-nuke shield around the country. But a lot of people thought it was a pretty dumb idea. The Soviet Union perceived this shift in rhetoric as the USA getting ready for war. Oh. And they were feeling especially threatened as their relationship with their communist ally China had broken down. Oh my down. gosh! The took a big hit in 1980. When the Soviets shot down a Korean airliner again to their airspace, and it looked like the world was going right back to mid 20th century Cold War tension. But then Brezhnev got really old Ooh. and died, and was replaced by this guy who was really oh my gosh, died and was replaced by this. Guy I want to just really die, and he was replaced by Mikhail Gorbachev. Oh, Mikhail Gorbachev, office, <laughs> my brother name is Mikhail. Real and when I was young, they used to call me Gorbachev. Differed a lot from previous <laughs> Soviet leaders. He felt that the reason the Soviet system and economy was struggling was that it didn't allow the Soviet people to find oh. satisfaction in their work because they weren't to speak freely and lived in oh fear. Gorbachev wanted the Soviet people to be Ooh. happy, but unlike previous Soviet leaders, he actually made the change happen. Within the first couple of years, he began the political movement for more openness oh. and transparency and the restructuring of the Soviet political Yo. and economic systems, and change very quickly took effect. People could criticize the government, they could enjoy Western pop culture, the media interviewed Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> and most importantly, the Soviet people could now enjoy Pizza Hut. All hail to Gorbachev. He also knew that the arms race wow. needed to end in order to rescue the Soviet economy, and a positive relationship with the West oh. must be established. Constructive dialogue reopened and resulted in the INF Treaty, which saw all intermediate range missiles eliminated, which was huge. Oh my gosh. Reagan's tone towards the Soviet Union began to soften, and things were looking up. But what would these reforms mean for the Eastern Bloc? For decades, the Soviets had been brutally suppressing Ooh. any attempt at change. Now, would they be allowed? And that was the exact question on Hungary's lips when the Prime Minister visited Moscow. Gorbachev's response, he didn't necessarily agree with the reforms, but he wouldn't stop them either. He was prepared to let the Eastern Bloc choose its wow. own future. This was massive. And the Hungarian leaders began planning free, multi-party elections. Poland followed suit and also held elections in June. The anti-Soviet party oh, solidarity so won 99 cool. out of 100 seats in the Senate. But not just See, that. one person can make the a difference. The barbed wire border between East and West was removed. The Iron Curtain was unraveling. But not all Eastern Bloc leaders were happy. Wow. Notably, East Germany was still ruled by a oh, hardline Hitler. Stalinist, oh. Eric Hunt, <laughs> Hitler. And many East Germans were still eager to get out. They had been <laughs> by the Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall. That's a Berlin Wall, right? Doing the math. If they could travel to Hungary and Hungary's border with the West wow, was yeah. loosening, could they now make hmm. it to the West? That summer, East Germans decided Hungary was the latest wow. top holiday destination. They traveled there in droves and using various Ship. methods, tens of thousands crossed the border into Austria and the wow. West. Honecker was furious and blocked oh. to Hungary, but that civil liberties train had started rolling and it was <laughs> Thousands more flocked to the oh West. Oh my gosh, I was trying to live. Where they stormed the fence around the embassy gardens and a temporary refugee camp was set up. In September, deals were struck to allow the refugees to travel west via train. Back in East Germany, oh. the people were running on a civil liberties high, and they wanted to the Dissent was growing. Over time, demonstrations Shh. turned to mass Man with power with does cause so much trouble sometimes, doing the best to oh gosh. The but it had grown well out we of human control, beings are really... Worse, the biggest demonstration was well, yet human to come. We're gonna so put all of this okay, down by no force. Right, guys? Oh boy. Guys? Unfortunately, no. everyone had realized what he had no. not. This was bigger than them, and the entire wow. East German Politburo voted him out. out of power. On November 4th, over half a million East Germans took to the streets of East Berlin. For many, there was still one big target left in their sights. That hm, damn the Berlin wall. wall. The pressure on the East German government was too great. And on November 9th, they made a bit of a... Hey, that's you, my brother, born 1989. East and West was being lifted. <laughs> the change wasn't meant to take effect until the next day. And crossing guards still had orders Ooh. to shoot on sight any who tried to cross. But that night, huge crowds gathered at the crossing points. And the guards were overwhelmed in... in an astronomically historic wow. moment. After decades of family separation and travel restriction, the people were allowed to pass through. That is so East cool. and West Berliners couldn't believe it and celebrated the world together throughout can the be night. very chaotic Some but we can and began to topple it. we can unite and they can be peace Germany would be reunited 
Elections in Bulgaria, a peaceful revolution wow. in Czechoslovakia, and a violent one in Romania brought to an end communist that authorities in the so Eastern Bloc. Cool. America decided it would be best if it just stayed away and let the change happen, as the anti-communist movement continued all the way back to Moscow. Gorbachev had given the people the freedom to demonstrate. Now, they demonstrated for an end to the communist single-party wow. rule, and Gorbachev had to give in. For the first time in history, elections <coughs> were held in which candidates not officially endorsed by the party were allowed to run. Ambitious rival of Gorbachev, Boris Yeltsin, led a growing democratic movement. Now things here get quite well, confusing. I, the dissolution I would, of the Soviet Union. I'll just wait for Gorbachev. He seems to be so doing quite me, well for the country. But it went a little bit like this. The Soviet Union was made up of a number of smaller oh, Soviet republics, the largest of which was Russia. Yeltsin got himself elected the president of Russia and began a struggle for sovereignty against Gorbachev and oh, the boy. greater Soviet Union. Communist you see again, man, who got a little bit of power. Was allowing, so they oh! They kidnapped him and tried to set up their own emergency government. But Yeltsin and his supporters all gathered around the White House in Moscow and were like, no. We have a tank. So the hardliners had to concede and wow. release Gorbachev. Wow, thanks Boris. That was a close one. No problem. And thanks to you for all wow. the great freedom you've given us. Any time, pal. I'm and just to inform oh. you, I've used the freedom you've given us to go behind your back and make a deal with Ukraine and Belarus to dissolve the Soviet Union and set up the Russian Federation. In other words, you're no longer in charge. Go we'll figure it. <laughs> so uncool. And so decades of tension and the everlasting wow. threat of nuclear war finally came to an end as Democrats were born. <laughs> many of the old Soviet republics and the wow. war along together. Oh my gosh! After. Oh my god, she's the. Oh shoot! <laughs> Okay, guys, okay, the Ratchet's died. Um, thank you for requesting this one, of course. Thank you for requesting this one. Um, yeah, 1991, that's when I born. So that's when the world got some sort of peace. <laughs> As I was saying, um, Venezuela, I'm Russia, and America, a bit of a, there's a bit of a tension right now. There's so much going on in Venezuela. I'm right in the Caribbean where this is, you know, I'm, we are, my country is basically in between, and, and we have relations with basically all three of the country, Russia, Venezuela, and America. So we're basically saying neutral in regards to what's going on and allowing democracy to reign, okay? We're not saying much about it. <laughs> Thank you so very much for requesting. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.